Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so now that we have a robust image uh, uploading system, we can start uploading uh, posts with images. So let's do that right now. So what we would do is go into the image.php. Actually, let's go to the profile.php page, which is uh, this one. I want to add somewhere where users can click to upload to select images. So that is very easy to do. Just go here where we have a form in the post area here. Now, just be before the post button, we'll add another input. This one will be of type file and let's give it a generic name of file as well. And that's it. That's all we need to do. So if I go back here and refresh the page, I see if I click the browse, I get uh, to select a file. Awesome. Now, as I said in another episode, uh, if you want to upload files, you have to add the ENC type, the encoding type, and you have to say it's multi part like that slash form hyphen data. So it has to be like this, otherwise, you won't be able to upload images. So now that we've done this, we have activated the files uh, global variable. So let's go at the top here where we check if things have been posted right here. So let's see if, uh, let's use var dump here. Let's see if the files exists, whether the files variable exists, whether I have uh, posted an image or not. So here I'm just simply going to click post and it's going to show me type something to post and there's an array uh, that is empty there. Okay, post again. And we get an array with a file name. Okay, so let me refresh again just to confirm and then hit post. Okay, so we get this, uh, all this information. So we can simply check if the name is, is not empty and the type and so on to know that someone has posted an actual file that we need. All right, so uh, let's do that in the uh, profile.php page at the top here. So since everything is handled by the post uh, class here at this point, we simply have to, the same way we are passing the post uh, data here, let's uh, add the files as well in case there are any files that have been uh, uploaded. So simply put a comma and add files at the end and remove verdump. And just like that, uh, we are done in profile.php. We just have to go to post class to actually update it. So let me go to classes and get the post class from there. So we can update it to do some more things. So first of all, it shows you, please type something to post. Even though you've added an image, it's going to show that. So let me browse here and add an image. Now, before I post here, I know I'm going to get an error. So let me add the extra uh, argument. We've added this uh, here. Let me also add it there. I'm simply going to call it uh, files to avoid errors. And so if I hit post, I'm going to get uh, please type something to post, even though I've posted an image. So we have to change that part. So this is what does that. It checks if the post data is not empty. So what we need to do is to tell it to check also if the files data is not empty. So we're going to put an or here because we are saying uh, if this is empty, if this is not empty, meaning it has something or the image has something passed through here. Otherwise, go there. So we're going to put not empty as well here. Files, but just not files because uh, even without an image, it's not empty. So we have to be very specific here. We have to go to the file uh, location and then to the name like that. That should not be empty. Okay. So if that's not empty, then the, there's, a, there's a file there. So if either of these are good, then we pass through here. 
okay now we have to know uh, exactly where to go uh, here because here we are creating a post from the information in the post and then creating a post ID so the only thing we need to change is to confirm if there's actually something in there that's number one and then uh, confirm if uh, there's something there as well okay so first of all let's come down here and let me say actually we don't even need to check here because even an empty post we can still add it there and that's okay so the only thing we have to account for is image so i'm just going to say image i'll create a, i'll just say my image just in case i've used image already so let's put an empty string there and then what we'll do is we'll extend our query here to add image as well here and then we also need to uh, say has has image because if you remember in our database in our table we have this column at the end here which says has image so that should be a one if we have an image in there so we are going to edit has image as well so let me go here and uh, copy these two put them here so the the column is image but my variable there is my image so i'm going to do that my image and then as usual i'll put inverted commas there and then i'll do the has image as well and put inverted commas there then i'll copy that so that i can create the variable here to avoid errors and set it to zero for now okay so so far so good the only thing now is to verify the image if the image actually exists so here we're going to grab uh, we're going to say move uploaded file so let's check and confirm if we've come in here because of this so i'll simply copy this if not empty which we are checking again kind of makes it a bit redundant but if not empty that is not empty then we have an image so then has image these two should be updated so let's go up here and paste those so has image will be equal to one and then my image is the file name that we are going to uh, create so instead of struggling here uh, we call the the image class that we created so we're going to say image class is equal to now this will only work if in here we actually loaded we included the file which we have so we're going to say new image like that mm -hmm. so now we have this uh, class that will work for us so my image is going to be now we're going to have to save this file somewhere now we cannot rely on uh, uh, on the folder being there so we have to repeat this process right here which we we created in change profile image so we start with folder and then we make the folder and then file name is equal to this and then move upload file like that so all of this we actually need so let me go to post here this is the file so i will just i'm just going to replace this down here so i'll remove this since uh, i've repeated it here okay so this is the folder we're creating we are creating here and now just remember that the user uh, data here uh, this variable is actually not available in here so we have to use that user id so let me bring that down here all righty then so if the folder doesn't exist we create it and then we 
get the new image so i'm just going to put class at the end image class is equal to and then image class as well here image class generate file so we are getting a, a file here and then we are moving the uploaded file to the file name and then from here what we do is the same thing we did here uh, we resize the image so let's get the image resize it to that section so back to post so here it's image class don't forget resize image the file name to the same file name and then uh, yeah that's exactly that and so once we are done with this this is file name right here that's the one we're supposed to uh, to put here so we used my image so what we're going to do is remove this one here let me cut this and uh, instead of file name we're going to say my image and also here my image like so and also here my image everything looks fine to me so far so let's uh, give it a shot and see what happens if we get any errors of any kind all right so first image post right here so let me come down here and refresh my page and then i'm going to say this is my first image post first and then i'll browse for an image and since these are the only images i have so i'm going to just select this one here and hit post all right so it seems everything went well and it says this is my first image post now we don't see an image because we haven't uh, told the post to actually show an image however what we can do is go to the uh, to the database and refresh so that we can see if there's uh, something written here and as we can see there's an image showing right there now to display the image is very easy because all we have to do is go to uh, post.php in here not in classes this is a uh, post.php because it shows that one post and then when, once we open it here it's that one uh, the file that we are repeating over and over here so we can simply edit this one because now we know that an image is actually available not the user image but the post image okay so if the, the image exists we should show it so we'll show the image just after echoing uh, the post itself here so all i need to do is copy this i'll put two breaks here so that we have a space before the image itself and then echo this time i'm going to okay before the echo i'm going to say I'll paste this and then let's check if an image actually exists so to do that we're going to put an if statement and say if file exists so we want to check if the file exists which is in the images it's actually image image there we go so if the file exists display it so we're going to echo i already echoed that so let me just cut this uh, paste it here we're going to echo the image so we're going to put an image tag img src is equal to and then since uh, we are putting these small inverted commas here we don't need to use them inside here we just do it like that delete and then close tag like that then we can add a style and say 
let's say width 100% all right now instead of doing it this way I guess uh, let me cut this here let me just put a variable called um, post underscore image so that what I do here I can say post image is equal to that and let me put my inverted commas in there now since we have the uh, image image class in here so let me check what we called it it's image class actually in profile.php so if I go back to post uh, I can do image class uh, get thumbnail get thumb post like that and then we pass in uh, the file name so instead of post it's uh, image like that so if the file exists get the thumbnail version and then uh, put it there okay so let's uh, refresh the page and as simple as that you see the image showing up right there okay so pretty good if uh, that that image is too big there you can reduce the size here let's try 80 percent and there we go so we have an image post here with like comment and then we have text posts here and so on all right so so far so good i'll see you in the next video when we continue